Hi folks, so in this video what we're going to be doing is a 3D modeling exercise on Onchip and we're going to be creating this soap dispenser bottle here. So what it says is a soap dispenser is represented in the 2D sketches and the 3D object below, 3D and 2D sketches down here. Uh, these are just our orthographic views giving us the various measurements. It says um, you will, oh, sorry, create a 3D model on, of the object in SolidWorks. Now we are using Onshape. Okay, so we're just changing up the program that we're using to the dimensions provided. You will need to use the loft boss base command to create the body of the dispenser and the extrude boss base and the sweep or swept boss base commands to create the top of the dispenser. Use your own dimensions for the nozzle. Okay, so what they're saying is for the main body of the bottle, the yellow portion here, we're going to use the loft boss base command. For the kind of cylindrical parts of the object, we're going to use an extrusion. Now, I'm also going to show you in this video how we could use a revolve as well. In my opinion, this is actually a little bit quicker if you can recognize the profile. Okay, so I'll talk to you a little bit about that near the end of the video. And then for the nozzle here, we're going to use a sweep or a sweep boss base. So first of all, looking at the object, we have to break down the structure into its orthographic views, elevation, end elevation, plan. Now, when I'm actually creating this, I'm going to create the body first of all, this section here. And I have to recognize the shapes that I'm working with. Okay, so first of all, starting with the base. Okay, well, we can see here we have a little extrusion for the base because the base is going to be a profile at the bottom or a sketch. What is that sketch? We'll figure out and then it's going to go up four millimeters. Okay, so what's that sketch? Looking here, I can see it's 48 long. It doesn't give me a width here, but if you look down here in the plan view, we can see an elliptical shape here, an elliptical curve, an ellipse. And that ellipse has a width of 28. So an ellipse that is 48 long and 28 wide. So my first ellipse, 48 by 28. I've kind of got another ellipse shape here, which I can see in the outside, which is the width of this section here, which is giving me an overall length of 80. And then the width of it, I can see is 54 in this view. So 80 by 54 for my second ellipse. And the top profile, uh, coming up here is a diameter circle of a diameter, sorry, a circle diameter 36 millimeters. Okay, so that's this next section there. Now, each of these profiles are at different levels. I've got an ellipse at the bottom, I have an ellipse in this level, and a circle at this level. So, what we're going to actually have to do is create planes. A plane here, a plane here, and technically, when we make this surface here by extruding it up, we have a plane, or what we I would show, I should say is a flat surface as well. Okay. So those three planes, we're going to have an ellipse, an ellipse, and a circle. And what it's going to simply look like is something like this. I kind of got an elliptical base down here. Terrible sketch. There's my elliptical base. Then on this profile, which is 50 millimeters above it, the reason it's 50 is because the height difference between this section here and this section is 50, and then 30 between the ellipse and the next section. So that's where the 30 is coming from here. And I have an ellipse, an ellipse, and a circle. And we're going to use those three sketches to make an object, okay, or the body of the object. So that's what we're going to do there now to start off with. So in your on shape, you will click on Create, Document, and I'm going to call it soap dispenser exercise and click create now that's going to bring us into our modeling window so in our modeling window we're going to be using the top plane to sketch on first so i'm going to deactivate or, or hide my front and hide my right planes and i want to start a sketch on the top plane so click sketch and then click top and you can see a sketch window has come in there now i'm going to look directly down on top of that and the first thing we want to do is we want to start by drawing an ellipse. If I just refer out to here, if you remember, we have to start off by drawing an ellipse on the top plane. And what is the dimension for that ellipse? The dimension for that is a length of 48 and 28, starting on the origin. So, go to my circle command, but select the arrow beside it, and select ellipse. Now, when drawing an ellipse, a little bit tricky, starting on the origin, I'm going to click once, let go, let go, drag out, and you can see an ellipse is being generated. Now, very important that you stay in line with the origin. Note the orange line on your screen. Okay, so I'm going to drag out as far as I think is appropriate out to there. So I left click again. Then after I left click, you can see that the ellipse is still not completed. Now it wants me to set, I've set a length to it. It now wants me to set a width. Okay, so I'm going to go up to about here, click. 
Now that ellipse right there, it needs a dimension. So I'm going to go to my dimension tool, click on the ellipse, maybe at the bottom part here, drag down. I can now dimension the length. I want that length to be 48. I will now click on the ellipse again and drag to the left or the right. I go left. I want this distance to be 28. And as you can see, the ellipse has gone from blue to black. Now I'm going to go into my 3D view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the extrusion tool. And you can see it's gone up too high there. I only want to go up 4 millimeters and accept that with the green arrow. And there we go. That is our first, our first piece, our base piece. So I'm going to select, uh, turn off my top lane now. Okay. I'll actually leave it active for a minute. Sorry, I'll leave it active for a minute. Now what I want to do is I'm going to rename this feature. So what I want to do is click, right click on it, uh, rename, and I'm going to call it uh, Soap uh, Dispenser uh, Flat Base. Okay, just so I know exactly what I'm after doing. So that's the flat base. Now, the next thing we want to do, just going to find a better view up there. We've got our top plane, and you can see the top plane is underneath the surface there. The top plane, we can see it there is a line, and then our surface here, okay? Now, what I want to do, if I just refer back out here, I want to create another plane, 50 millimeters above this surface, very important, not the top plane, but above this surface here, and I want to do another ellipse with the appropriate dimensions. So, first of all, I have to create a plane, and then on that plane, draw an ellipse, 80 by 54. So, that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to go up here, click on plane, and then it's asking me, to select something to draw it from or to reference it from. So in entities, I'm going to select this top surface here. Click. Now that distance there is not correct at the moment. I want that to be not 60.1, 50, enter. And you can see we have created, click the green arrow, we've created a new plane, which is now plane one. Okay. On plane one, I want to do a sketch. So click sketch, click on plane one. I can now do a sketch. I'm going to look down on top of it. And you can see here it's called sketch number two. Now in that plane using the origin, I'm going to do another ellipse. Clicking on the origin, dragging out, making sure you're horizontally mapped onto the uh, origin again. Make it a bit bigger, click. Then move it up, make it a bit larger again, click. Once again, we want to apply those dimensions. Dimension tool, click on the ellipse, drag down. I want this distance to be 80. And I want the height distance or the width to be 40 or sorry 54 and there we go that there is our second ellipse done okay so i'm going to accept that and as you'll see here now i've kind of got two profiles i've got my next ellipse on my plane one and obviously i have my first ellipse down here now the next one i want to do if i refer out here we have a circle diameter 36 that needs to be drawn on a plane 30 millimeters above plane one in this case so that is plane one. So obviously by default, this one will become plane two. And obviously we had the bottom one here that was underneath this one that was just called the top plane. Okay, so plane one, plane two. So I need a new plane. So I go up to my plane tool. I'm going to say the distance, first of all, I'll set it to 30. And then I'm going to use plane one from the design tree over here in there. And there's our plane two. When I've done that, the distance is correct, accept it. Now on this plane, I want to draw a circle. So select sketch, select the plane to draw on. You can see a sketch window has come in, sketch number three. I'm going to go top, so I'm looking down on top of it. And now, instead of ellipse, I'm going to click on the arrow beside it, center point circle, click on the origin, drag out, and then give it a, a dimension. Go to your dimension tool, click on the circle, drag out, 36, diameter 36. And there we go. That there is the circle complete. Click the green arrow to accept. And as you can see, if I go into my 3D view, I've now got three planes. I have the top plane, which is obviously underneath the base part. Then I have plane number one, where I have an ellipse, and plane number two, where I have a circle. With those three planes now, we're going to use the loft boss base command. So I'm actually going to hide my planes now. That was just for demonstration, so I'm going to hide the top plane. I'm going to hide plane one and I'm going to hide plan two. And you can see we're left with our profiles. Profiles meaning sketches. So now I'm going to go to my features tree up here. So if I click on the loft feature, 
what I'm going to do is it's going to ask me to select certain profiles. So first of all, I'm going to select this surface here. You can either select the edge, or zoom in there like the edge like that, or select the face. I'm going to select the face. The next profile I'm going to select is this ellipse. And you can see, look what's after happening. Now, it's not really coming in curved, but once I select this circle profile here, you'll see it will start to curve. And there we go. That there is our body. I'm now going to accept that with the green arrow. But just before I do that, you could change the curvature of the body if you use this thing called guided curves. But for junior cycle, that would be very advanced and uh, it wouldn't be something that we're going to introduce in this video just yet. Okay, so we're going to select the green arrow to accept. And there we have the body created by using a loft boss base. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to call that, right click on loft one, rename, and I'm going to call it soap dispenser body. And there we go. And you can see the tool type is here, meaning it's a loft. So there we have it. That is our loft boss based on. Um, while I'm doing that now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next uh, section here, which is the extrusion part. So if I go back to my sheet, okay. Now, if I break this next section up, you can see it's kind of got three cylinders. I have a big cylinder here, which has a diameter of 30. Okay, this one here. Okay, which has a diameter of 30 and it's extruded up 10. I have another cylinder on top of it, which has a diameter of 16 and it goes up five millimeters. And then I have another cylinder, which has a diameter of 10 and it goes up 15. I could do simply a cylinder, or sorry, a circle extrude up 10, circle extrude up five, circle extrude up uh, 15. Absolutely fine with doing that. But essentially what that is, is three steps. Okay, and I'm going to actually do those steps now. So just to show you how easy it is. So first of all, I'm going to select this surface to sketch on. So sketch, select the surface to draw on. There we go. Now for modeling, I'm actually going to model in 3D, which you can do. You don't always have to be looking directly on top of it. I find it sometimes easier, but you don't have to. So I'm going to grab my circle command, and you should be able to find the center. You can see there if I zoom in, the center is kind of highlighted to me once I hover over it. Click, drag out, click. Now I have to give that a dimension. So the dimension of that is diameter 30. There we go. And now straight away to extrude and set the distance. The distance is 10. Really, really easy. That's the first portion. Now I want to do another sketch on that one. Sketch, select the surface to draw on. Now once again, circle command, find the center, drag out. And what I want to do is, oh yeah, set a dimension. Now that dimension is 16. And I want to extrude that one just by five. There we go, accept that. And as you can see, okay, it's getting larger and larger, an extrusion and extrusion, absolutely fine. Once again, a final sketch, select the surface I want to draw on, and what I want to do is a circle, click on the center, drag out. I know that diameter is a diameter of 10. Okay, and once again, extrusion, and this time, I think it goes up 15 millimeters. And there you go. That there is the topmost portion before we put on the little nozzle. Okay. 